Hey everyone, Jake here with TrendSpider to show you the Show Trends feature, which is essentially an extension of the Trends feature. And um, so to start, these are the trend lines that pop up for these particular preferences on the chart. Now, um, this does not mean this is all the trend lines that the system finds. This is just the current kind of trend lines that the system is looking for based on how it is filtered. Now, if we want to look for more lines and add those to the chart, we simply just go to show trends, do the drop down menu here, and click more lines or all. So more lines is the kind of second filter. And so clicking this is going to show all these different lines here. And essentially, all you have to do to lock any one of these lines is to just simply right click. So, or excuse me, yeah, double click here, double right click, and it's locked. So, you know, if we wanted to pick this, if we wanted to, you know, go a little bit uh, farther back and maybe do like this type of wedge look here, and let's say lock in this line here, we can simply just go to most relevant. Those lines that were not black are now taken off the chart, and the ones that you double clicked on are then added to the chart. Now, if you want to get rid of any of these lines, you can simply just go here, remove this line, and then you can start cleaning up the chart that way. So this is an, kind of an endless tool where there's not just a set of trend lines. You can easily mess around with any of these filters here, um, which we do have a separate blog on the trend analysis preferences, but you can also just add more lines, and if you really want to get um, with into a bunch of lines, you can go to all or unfiltered, and this is going to show essentially every single line that the system is finding within these preferences. And so, um, you know, you can click on any of these lines if you want to kind of look and see, uh, look for a particular channel or kind of a setup. Um, you can easily double click on any of these lines and they will be saved and you can just add them um, to the chart by double clicking, go back to most relevant, and then all of these lines are then back on the chart without all the noise in the background. So that is how you use this, show trends, an extension of the trend feature. And uh, thank you guys so much for listening in. If you have any other questions or further questions about how to use the trend line feature, please reach out and we will be happy to help you. Have a great day and thank you so much for listening.